Hey guys, Ladybug Baby Dolls here. Um, guess what? Our Ash and Drake babies are here. My first babies to the nursery have come in the mail. All three of them. Um, so I'm very excited. So give me one second um, to get them out of their shipping boxes. And we will do the unboxing and the reveal. I'm so excited. Okay, guys. So I've got them out of their shipping boxes. And let me see here. I believe I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> Pardon me when I was opening up the box. I do know that this is Sophia because of how big it is. But I believe that this one is Cherish and this one is Jacob. And that's Sophia. So why don't we start with why don't we start with the Cherish doll first? So here we go. I'm going to just take that off. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is a definite cute little preemie baby. I love preemies. Um, three of my kids were preemies. Um, well, two of them were very little preemies like this size. So, sorry, bittersweet for me. So we have the Cherish uh, authentic uh, authentication tag here. So that is pretty cool. So let's take a look here. What do we got going on? We have, at least we know that the chair, this doll has been very well secured in the box, which is good. So we're gonna undo the little ribboning here. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. There we go. All right, give me one more second and let me get this doll at least unwrapped here and we will do a uh, further reveal. Okay guys, here is the Cherish doll. Oh, super, super, super cute. A little bit of bed head going on here. Um, much like uh, most of the Ashton Drake reviews that I've heard about, uh, this doll has hair is literally kind of glued on there so I can feel the stickiness while I'm supporting the back of this baby's head but otherwise this little guy he's so sweet um, again I'm turning Cherish here into a boy as it doesn't have a, it's not anatomically correct um, but in the description it can be either boy or girl and to me the Cherish doll definitely looks more boyish than girlish um, <clears throat> let me just lay the Cherish doll down here oh how sweet just very sweet, sweet, sweet baby. And I like that, you know, it's got a little bit of a, it's not magnetics, but we we know that at least when we give it this pacifier, it's not gonna ruin its paint. It's got a cute little wristband and I just absolutely love, oh, I just love the little feet. Oh my gosh, it's so perfect. Absolutely a little star, a little star stutter. Um, so, I'm going to, um, at the end of this video, do the uh, name announcements for these babies. So that way you guys aren't left wondering. So let me get the Jacob doll all unwrapped and um, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. So that's Cherish. Cherish is absolutely adorable. Here comes the baby Jacob. And this is the one that is after my um, stillborn son. So this one is going to be a little bit more emotional for me. But, uh, you know, like Mary see, he's already got a, an adorable little teddy bear here. That's super cute. I like it when they come with, like, their little stuffed animals. But um, And here we have the uh, Sweet Dreams Baby Jacob birth certificate of authenticity, which is good. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep these separate. So let me get cute, sweet little Jacob out of his box here and I'll be right back. Okay guys, here he is, the sweet baby Jacob. Um, his hair is a lot lighter. Again, it's glued on there, uh, but it's a lot lighter. Uh, it's kind of more of an auburny color. Uh, so in the pictures, the, the hair appeared a bit darker. So, um, that's okay. You know, my son had really dark hair. 
he also had a full head of hair. So that's what I was looking for when I was looking for a doll that kind of resembled him. Um, so this little guy, uh, he's really super, super duper cute. I like the uh, little bit of blushing he's got on the hands. And he's just, a, he's just a real sweet little guy. So I'm really happy that I did decide to get him um, in honor of my son. Uh, I'm trying not to cry. So if you hear a little bit of cracking in my voice, I apologize. Um, like I said, I, I love and miss all my babies. And these, these three are the tribute to my babies that I lost. Um, so refer if you guys are new to the channel or first time viewer, watching this review of these dolls um, refer back to the first video on this channel this channel is really new so there's only two videos prior to this one so it shouldn't be too hard to find um at least at this point but yeah this is sweet baby jacob he is so cute so 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 cute i really i really like him so we're gonna have lots of adventures together all these babies and i so that's that's jacob and um Again, name reveals will be at the end of the video. And now we have just one more to do, which happens to be the Sophia doll. So let me just put the baby Jacob here next to Cherish. Look at how, how cute they are. They almost look like twins. Oh, gosh, they're so cute. Okay. And now for Miss Sophia, who is the biggest baby out of this collection. Here she is. This, this doll I was actually really hesitant about because I was kind of freaked out at the fact that this doll can coo and breathe on its, well, on its own. You have to press the button. Um, and it also has a heartbeat. Like, I found that a little bit creepy. <laughs> but because I liked, I loved, I fell in love with the way she looked. I fell in love with how cute she was. Um, which is why I made the decision I did for this particular doll to honor uh, the third baby that I lost and I decided to go with more of a full size like a newborn size just because I think if she hadn't have vanished um in utero at such a young gestation I think she would have been full full size like her living brother uh so yeah let's let me go get her unwrapped and I will show her off to you guys okay here she is guys um it came with a little warning right here um where my finger's pointing uh, on her belly that says don't push down on her chest because it can ruin the uh, mechanism that makes her breathe and whatnot so we will avoid doing that she however is adorable look at her and her hair is the same color as the photo which is good because i heard a lot of um people who have the sophia doll didn't get the color that matched the picture or whatever and her hair is curly and it's very cute. Um, if we look close here, if my camera will pick up on it. Um, trying to see if it'll pick up there. There we go. You guys can see that this doll um, actually does not have glued in hair. This doll actually has a hand rooted hair, which is great because these two, they, I have to take a closer look, but um, I think their hair was just kind of glued on and just kind of stuck on there. But hers was actually hand rooted, so you can definitely see all the individual strands so that is nice gives it more of a lifelike appearance and her she is definitely the most lifelike out of all three of these babies when you're holding these two their legs and arms are very stiff um which is fine you know i don't mind that uh with her as soon as i took the protector protection off of her legs her legs literally just kind of did one of those flopping things so um, and her arms are a little bit floppy as well. So that is nice to see with a doll that is a collector's item, to see the more realistic uh, approach to the doll. Um, as it was mentioned in the description um, before I bought it, she's supposed to be very lifelike. So to see the doll made that way is awesome. And I do not want to turn her on right now. I'm not quite ready for that commitment. Again, these are supposed to be uh, dolls, again, uh, in honor of the children that I lost. So to turn this doll on right now would probably really freak me out. So like that, that's what that little red dot is, is to press the button uh, to turn her on and off. She comes, I think she already comes with batteries in her. She's got a battery pack in her back. Um, so, yeah. So she's very cute, very sweet. I really like her. Uh, 
and I hope to do, um, like I said, add to the collection here, add to my nursery. Uh, so let me set her down and we will do the uh, name reveal in a second. Okay, guys, welcome back. Sorry about the brief delay. Of course, uh, when you guys see this video, it won't be a brief delay at all. <laughs> but for me, I literally just spent like 15 minutes cleaning that whole mess up and bringing the babies into um, their room here, my nursery. So, okay, here we go. We're going to do the name reveal now. I'm not jibber jabber. You guys have had enough of that. So, <clears throat> Miss Sophia here, the Sophia doll, is actually going to have the name of Amberlyn. Uh, Amberlyn Elsa. And it's unique spelling. Um, I love the name Amberlyn. Um... And the middle name is actually in dedication to my um, my grandmother, because I promised her if I ever had a girl, um, and again, I didn't know the gender of the twin that I lost. Uh, so again, this is uh, based off of intuition or inclination, whichever you'd like to call it. Um, so my living son, son's deceased twin is going to be a girl. And uh, so I promised my grandmother if I ever had a girl, I would honor her by giving the Girl, little girl her, her her first name is the middle name so this is beautiful little Amberlyn Elsa and she's just a doll oh gosh she's so sweet oh I just can't get enough of how cute she is we're gonna skip over Jacob for a minute he's gonna be my last one the cherished doll here is going to be named Asher Anthony because I always love that name um, my first, my first son, who, God willing, is going to be double digits soon. <laughs> um, originally, I was, I wanted to name him um, Asher Anthony, but I decided against and kept the name more in the family. Uh, Asher and An the names Asher and Anthony do not reside in my family whatsoever that I can that I know of. So, I thought, how cute would it be to give this little guy that name? And that's what I would have named named him had he lived again this gender was unknown for this child that I lost as it was an early miscarriage but mother's intuition or inclination again <laughs> I decided to uh, make that boy so it was kind of appropriate that I kind of picked a I don't want to say a genderless child but a child that was neutral that could kind of go either way but I really think the cherished doll does look more like a boy than a girl anyhow and so then we have this sweet, sweet little guy with his teddy bear. He's going to drop his teddy bear. Oh, goodness. His little teddy bear here. And this one is after my son, the only one that I knew the gender to. I apologize. I'm going to get a little choked up here. <laughs> this little guy, his name is going to be Joshua. My son's name was Joshua Joseph, and this doll uh, at least for right now, this doll is to honor him and his little life. Um, I think this doll looks quite like um, like him. The hair is a little bit off in color, um, and the eyebrows are a little bit off in color, but you know what? For a doll that kind of resembles my child, it brings me a little bit of joy and a little bit of happiness. Um, to at least hold a doll that kind of sort of resembles him. So I'm really happy about that. So anyways, guys, if you did enjoy that and the name reveal, um, let me know down below. Again, no hate. These are these dolls are all in um, memoriam for the children that I did lose. And they are the first babies in my nursery. So I'm very excited about that, guys. Mm, welcome home, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys for the next video.